take a vertical line such as this marker here and you scan from left to right across the graph and you look to see if the line crosses the graph at more than one point so two or more so if I do that there's a vertical line there's a vertical line there's a vertical line there's a vertical line so I'm scanning across using vertical lines does it ever cross a graph more than once no, it looks like it's only crossing once here, once here, once here, once here. So as I scan across, it's only crossing at most once. So that means that for every X value, there's just one Y value on the graph. So the X values are like the inputs, the Ys are the outputs. If you put something into your computer and one time it opens one program, another time it opens a different program, that's unpredictable, that's not a function. So let's look at this one over here. So Take that vertical line, scan from left to right across the graph. Does it cross the graph at more than one point? Actually, you can see it does. See here it only crosses at one point. That's okay, but over here it's crossing at more than one point. So that means that when X is, let's say, positive two, Y could be negative two or positive two. You can see that for each input, okay, or for this input, there's more than one output. That's not a function. So this fails the vertical line test. This one here, same thing, we draw vertical lines as we scan from left to right. It never crosses the graph at more than one point. See, it's just one, 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 so just at most once. So this one is a function. And then this one over here, you can see right away it's crossing at more than one point. Here it doesn't even cross the graph at all. Here it's just crossing at one point. But if it ever, at any point, as you scan from left to right across the graph, if it crosses at more than one point, you know, crosses the graph at more than one point, then that means that y is not a function of x, meaning that for each x input, there is more than one y output. It's like this, x is going to more than, more than one y value. So that fails the vertical line test and it tells you that it's not a function. If it passes and only crosses one, once or less, then it is a function. Okay, so this has been an overview of the vertical line test. I'll see you in the next video.